What's up? I actually have something to say. Assassin's Creed is good, don't get me wrong. I love all the games. I know some of the games are really, really terrible. I do love them. But, and I do have one thing to admit. That, if, if I want to constantly play them, I will. But, there might be a time when I just go, I'm not in the mood for that game, I might skip it. And go on to the next one. I might do that. So just a head a heads up warning, basically, guys. I am in no better terms to say it. A, char a character on a game I play called Unison has the perfect title. I'm a fickle god. Assassin's Creed is amazing, it's gorgeous, the graphics, the gameplay, the entertainment you can have, but I am also wanting to get onto another series which is actually somewhat related to Assassin's Creed. The game I'm talking about will be really, really revealed later in the episode. Nah, major. Basically, the game that I wanted to get on and play, I've never really had a reason to play it because Assassin's Creed's always been ideal for me. As Assassin's Creed tends to... I love how, how it... Um, The, I, I, I do love how Origins, I have played, don't get me wrong, I've played these games, so I know the future of them, and I love how Origins is enhanced this boat journey. So I will say, I'm not going to play Syndicate, As sin not Syndicate, I am going to play Syndicate, I love Syndicate. Um, I'm not gonna play Unity. I'm not gonna. I'm not playing Assassin's Creed Unity. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a good game, but personally, it doesn't have an impact on the main story. So after this one, I'm going straight to Assassin's Creed Three. As it carries on the story, which then will lead to Assassin's Creed Black Flags, then Syndicate, then Assassin's Creed, um, so as I was saying, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, then Assassin's Creed Black Flags. So, as I was saying. So it's going to go Black Flags, and I think then it goes Origin. And then... So yeah, after Origin, it goes Assassin's Creed Origin, then Assassin's Creed, um, oh my god, I forgot what the Roman one is, and then you go to Valhalla, I actually have and own Valhalla, I own all the Assassin's Creed, oh, yeah, I go to the table. 
familiar in that video. I've seen it time before. It was like the apple of Eden. Ancient technology and the first civilization. This old man LZA now. Yes, it is. So this one of the features I why I like Assassin's Creed. This is why Revelations is quite decent. Broken foot. You go through Altair and Ezio. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. But honest. Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the crusaders in the village and drive them into the castle. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistake. So that's the two brothers from the first game, if you remember. The ones that condemned us. As much as I'd love to sit there and take care of all these guys, my goal isn't to take care of them. My goal is to close the gate. Oh my god, there we go. The bear man, guys. Bear in mind, I'm actually playing all this. I'm running all of this. All my recordings and everything are all based off me playing my laptop. On my laptop. I'm playing, I'm recording, I'm playing games on my laptop. And that's it. Oh, the amount of assassinos. Like, assassins and civilians. The amount of bloodlust. Another step, and your mentor dies. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. I love Altair. Games are made to escape the reality. Now you call on your lapdogs to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? Good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Al Mualim, but patience was not one of them. Speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more. 
So this is the good thing. This history pass. It, it shows you this is when Altair started. So this is Altair before he became got the scar and everything. Kill the Crusader while being detected. Now you call on your lapdog to protect you. You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? Another good man dies, and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Al Morley, but patience was not one of them. <laughs> speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more! Yeah, and that's how Etio does it. You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. You missed that. Sure, one. we are. It's true. And thank you. Oh, by the way, I actually made the mistake last time. How crazy this evidence to the contrary. Travelers are Irish. Irish. So people, where gypsies didn't come from Egypt, and they actually came from somewhere else. My dad actually searched it up and actually told me about this. There's actually a, a lot of things. Offers him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shuns your grace. I guess he's right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did oh. not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time, and it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy, and ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. It's sad to think stuff like that actually happened. Oh, I was supposed to save all the citizens. Okay, I didn't know that one. So, as I said, I'm not going for 100% synchronization on this, as the next one's the one I'm going to be focused heavily on. Assassin's Creed 3, which starts giving you a much more intriguing... So, like, Revelations, I could have skipped over. Ah, so they contain recorded memories, these keys. These ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know? Or to learn? He wants you to learn not to go the same path as he did. So, on that note, after witnessing Atheia's past, and actually playing as Atheia for a bit, there's more Atheia missions, so the more keys I get, the more missions I go back in time and see. And then you get, as you saw, you're seeing Old Man Atheia. Well, it's Old Man Ezio and Atheia. I think you do actually see Old Man Altair at some point. But it's amazing. So Revelations and Brotherhood I could have just skipped over because well Brotherhood I couldn't Revelations I could have skipped over. Cause this is basically all just in the animus. 
it doesn't explain much, it just, ex it just gives you like a extra game. It's... It's one of the downsides to the Assassin's Creed games. They... They're good for the game themselves. They're good as... Wow. That was a jump. They're good as a game, and they're even good as just for just playing randomly. See, you can play any of them. Sometimes the stories make sense. Sometimes the stories don't. It's the downside to the Assassin's Creed games. The games don't need to be played if you want to enjoy the Assassin's Creed experience. That's a new, uh, medium. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please do like, comment, subscribe, like. I'm not going to start the mission, I'm just run towards the basic area due to the fact that, like, the only things I can do really on this game now is... Leave my guy AFK. And... Leave my guy AFK and just... Run about... Well, leave him nearby point. One, to collect money in, and two, just to... Just to waste time. So, as I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, please do like, comment, subscribe. And guys, don't forget, I actually do post in my, uh, in my, um, description box a Discord link. I am there on Discord. I have my phone with me all the time, so I am active on Discord. I'm quite an active person on communities and that. I have created it for me and my friends. There's a Discord for her, Twitch, as well as my YouTube. It's just fun. Like, I ask for game requests. If you want me to look for a certain game, and I'll play them. It'll be like a one-off type thing. If I enjoy it, I'll go back to it and play the story all the way through. There's games that, like, hints and ideas, clues, stuff that like you guys might have noticed that I didn't. Stuff like that. And there's also, she does, ch my friend does challenges on her Discord, on her part, half. She does Twitch challenges for Resident Evil and that. Anyhow, on that note, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.